Hello, this is Earl Teets, and welcome to Minutes with the Mountain Man. Today's video is going to give you some fundamentals, but I'm going to share from you from the heart, and I'm going to throw out a proverbial spanking, okay? <laughs> now, forgive me. My intentions here are not to offend anybody. My intentions are not to ruffle anyone's feathers. My intentions are here to show you that you have some very valuable information. What you choose to do with that information is up to you. You see, as a coach, I can give you a roadmap. I can show you how to do what you need to do to be successful, but only you can do those actions. You have to understand your commitment and loyalty to your own action plan. Now, as a coach, if I tell you the best thing you can do to create your own success is to put a plan of actions to profit in writing. And if I ask you to email that to me, it's not because I'm high on the hog. It's because I want to put a plan together that your subconscious mind will recognize. And when your subconscious mind recognizes that you actually have a path to accomplish what your heart desire is, while you're sleeping at night, that subconscious mind is working on a way to make that plan happen even faster for you. You've heard the big people say, that wealth is attracted to speedy actions, right? So who wants to map out a plan of actions for 90 days in writing because in the back of your mind, what if you can't commit to it? My question is, what if you can't? Are you going to commit to the fundamentals that are going to pay you? Or are you going to blame your coach because you didn't take the necessary fundamentals? And go look for another coach. It happens every single day. And that's part of being a home business coach. I give you the garden harvest process for free. It's got a value of thousands of dollars. I market it to the people that don't know me for $700. Now somebody that follows the garden harvest process to the T... They are going to produce money every single time. The problem is, if I give that information away to 10 people for free, two of them are going to do about 50% of what's there that was given to them and learn from it. And eight of them are going to do less than that and look for another coach. But if I sell 10 people that have never met me before the same exact set of information for $700, they are the ones that email me their 90-day plan of writing the very next day. So I can work with them as a coach and we can adjust your actions to profits and have the hours that you put in your business pay you. We could have your subconscious mind focusing on how you're going to succeed faster rather than slower. And then you got to ask yourself your commitment to your daily method of operation. Are you checking the emails from your coach and your company that give you valuable information? Like if you've got an event coming up, do you expect your coach who's planting a seed number five by three-way calling a guest? Or being on the computer with them at the same time on a professional event that the company's offering? Is the coach supposed to abandon the new seed because you didn't check an email to get to an event on time? No, these are daily methods of operation that you're responsible for, not your coach. Are you attending the events? Are you doing the to-do list of things you got to do to get paid on a daily basis? Are you following up with people? And are you planting five seeds a day? If you aren't planting your seeds every day, you don't have people to follow up with every day. If you're not adding five people to your list today, you don't have the appointments to show the presentations 
If you're not attending the events, you're missing the education that you need. And if you're not taking the time out of your day to check your emails, to understand where your links are, to get you to the event you need to go to, it's not your coach's fault. you got to look at yourself in the mirror. And it's the hardest thing to do as an entrepreneur because nobody wants to admit where they're failing. But the good news is when you do take that look in the mirror and see that, oh, I made a simple mistake. I can correct that mistake. As your coach, I'm going to love you whether you make those mistakes or not. I've had people abandon the process and think I'm a bad coach. You know, that's okay. That's life. But the bottom line is, rather than cry over spilt milk, we have to take the same actions. Every day, we got the same 24 hours in a day. So we have to ask ourselves, are we going to be committed to our daily method of operation? And really, if, if, if I'm coaching you and you've got my garden harvest process blog, please make sure you email me your 90-day plan. And I know I shouldn't say please, but really for your own security. You deserve the success. Let's put you on the path that's going to get you the money. Now, I can't force you to do the actions that are going to make you successful, but I can show you what they are. It really makes a difference. It really does. And you deserve success. We teach with love, honor, and integrity. Sometimes I share a little truth that might be painful. And if that truth is painful for you, don't get mad at me. Look yourself in the mirror and see that maybe I'm touching a nerve at a spot where you need to do the work the most. And realize that if you make that mistake, I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm going to care about you no matter what. I'm going to pray for you no matter what. So God bless you. Recognize the one true thing to success. It's not how much money you got in the bank. It's are you practicing the proper actions to profits? on a daily basis because when you understand the garden harvest process you'll always get paid god bless you come join us every friday is payday don't you deserve the income